Hello everyone. Alright, I've taken two days off. And, uh... Well, I didn't take two days off, but, you know, I haven't recorded for two days. Um, updates were now playing world class, because I'm just not good enough for legendary anymore, unfortunately. You know, my old age is making me worse at this game. Yeah, this team, it's it's a mess. Cullen's at left back. Uh, we've got Sarkeesian and Makedo that are playing central midfield. Uh, our bench is not very good. And we're playing Spurs in a prime. So I'm hoping I'll be able to come up with something because the difficulty is lowered. Although I always said I always find world class harder than legendary. If that's the case, then we're going down to professional. But I'll give it, say, well, I was going to think three games. But it depends on how badly I'm performing as manager. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Ruiz just didn't move. Hello? EA, please, just stop with the bullshit. It's every fucking match at this point. Like, Ruiz just turned like a fucking buster. He wouldn't do anything. Uh, I don't know why Anguilo just booted it away. I literally tapped the pass button. And he fucking hammers it away. This is really strange. I, I'm not... I think we're going to concede here. It's The game's not exactly, you know... My players are not doing what I'm asking them to do. It's really strange. Like, you're taking a touch there? You're passing it there? Oh my god, nah, nah, this, this game's fucked. This game's actually fucked. I think it's actually rigged. It's doing a lot of weird shit. At least I'm professional. I can counteract the bullshit. You know, because I'm a little bit better than, you know, professional. Barely. But you can see, like, they're doing random things and stupid things that why would anyone tell them to do that unless like you're literally a brainlet right Ronaldo go on have your way with the board no okay well that's my fault that's not the game's fault so I guess any bad attacking things are typically my fault because you know I'm shit at the game and also my fucking controller is like real fucking greasy for some fucking reason it's never greasy and I haven't fucking Oh, actually, I did eat about an hour ago, but, like, the fuck? Nah, oh, one nil. No, no, we managed to just about hold that. I didn't ask him to throw it that far. I wanted it to go to heart the board. That's not where I asked you to pass it. Fuck it, just hit it. Yeah. There's a few times there where it's just not passing it where I'm asking it to go to, which is really frustrating. Alright, half time, it's nil nil. We were true on goal there. Uh ref, I I didn't uh That did not go unnoticed. Dickhead. Alright, I take a draw against Spurs, especially on the terrible run that we've been on, uh and also all the EA bollocks that I've had to endure in the last like two fucking videos I've done in this series. It's been real bad with the EA crap. I mean there was two patches that came out. And obviously those patches are really like a fucking virus or something like that with the way that this game's been going on. Now, Ronaldo, make me proud. No, he don't make me proud. But it's fine. Vegas gets the rebound. Or Vegas, Jesus. F Vega gets the rebound. Oh, Christ, I'm a fucking bike. Ronaldo has to start shooting at some point. Well, scoring, sorry. Not shooting. He is shooting. He's just not very good at it. Hopefully his loan to Union Berlin will make him better for... Um, Season 4? Yeah, Season 4. Jeez, the season. It's nearly Season 4 already. Well, it's not even. That's brilliant from Ruiz, but apparently it's a foul and a yellow card. Ref is a fucking cunt. That is not a foul. It hit his fucking arse crack. Like, the ball did. And the player, I don't really care. Look, there he is again. Another fantastic challenge after having a little EA moment earlier. Alright, we're going to take Artur off. We're going to put Cullen back where he's going. Put McCann at left back. Uh, I think I want Trezor in where Sarkeesian is. We don't actually have any proper midfielders in there except for Cullen. Now, well, we, he wasn't always there, but he is now. But yeah, Jesus fucking Christ, lads. It's a... It's a Shit show at the moment. Nah, this is a one all. Oh, good save. I thought it was gonna be one all there. My player just didn't fucking move. Oh, just fucked my ass there with that pass. That was really nice from Spurs. I've got a fucking college email. It's hashtag distracting. 
Yeah, I thought that would come. That was coming. Lunchtime events. Emma, Carol, I don't give a fuck. Don't email me about your fucking lunchtime events. God fucking damn it. Alright, Knezovic, Ali and Dubois are coming on. I did say I'd take a draw before the game. And to be quite honest with the Spurs, where I think a draw is probably a fair result. Even after you, you take out the EA... Bo no, 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 that's... This isn't fair. This is not fair. This is not fair. This is not fucking fair! Fuck off. You're fu- Oh my god, I hate this game sometimes. It's not fair. We don't deserve to be 14. We deserve to be at least fucking- Like, a, a minimum of fucking 9th or 8th at this stage. We meant the points up and fucking robbed off us because of this game. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, Fafana, you're not good enough. Go fuck yourself. I don't care. Man's fucking complaining. I literally told him he's never playing for the fucking club again. He's shocked. Dickhead. Oh, right, this isn't good. Vega has to play because he's fucking carrying me at the moment. Rest of the players I'm not too sure about. Like it's it's not very good right now. And there's not a lot I can do either, unfortunately. If I could just get to an end an end of a fucking match without any fucking bullshit, you know, it'd be it'd be great. It'd be great. And we also have a derby coming up here. Handball ref, I'll take a free kick. Now, not that we're going to fucking score, but, you know, look, we might as well give it a shot. We're never going to score free kicks. It doesn't really matter where I take them from or how I take them. It, it just doesn't happen. The old free kicks were much better. I scored them pretty much every fucking time. But no, they just had to change something for the sake of fucking changing it. Go on, have a fucking strike there. I don't know how that pass made it there. I literally tackled them, and my fucking tackle goes straight to the player that they were looking to pass to in the first place. Fucking retarded. No, of course you pass it straight back to them. Like, the fuck is this shit? Enough of the fucking bullshit, EA, please. Oh my god, guys, please pass. For the love of Christ. Now that's my fault there. I'm not blaming EA for that. Of course, I can't blame everything on them. It's not all their fault. Go on. Ah, nah, too close. Alright, Scoff's just letting fucking Diaby walk into the box. Come on, lads, get your shit together. You are falling apart. Right, of course, my striker's not going to go into the box here because they never go into the box when your winger has it. Finish that, son. There we go. Thank you, Dubois. You're reinstalling my fate in this game and this career mode. In fact, actually, the career mode's fine. It's, it's the game that's the problem. I think my idea of constant rotation of the players is, a, is, is good. Alright, half time. Uh, we needed that. We really did need half time. It was, it was getting a bit sketched there. Alright, here are the boys doing. Romo looks like he got, he'll have to come off. He's, uh, his stamina is, is a bit lower than the rest. It's noticeably lower than the rest. Well, maybe the 60th minute I'll take him off, but we'll see how this goes. Tackle, not one all. Yeah, okay, right. Romo's coming off. Not that it was his fault. Uh, just. Need a bit of something else in that midfield position. Handball ref, potentially? No, you're an arsehole ref. Of course, why is it always my players that fall over? No one else's players ever fall over, it's always mine. 
Fucking hell. And look look at him, or not Rogani, Ruiz. He's just not fucking running. You lost, You literally saw him walk there, didn't you? Everyone saw that? Because he could have easily fucking caught him before he got into the box. Or maybe at the edge of the box. Around that area, he would have caught him. Right, Rogani's going to come off. Because it's a, it's a shit show right now. We're going to put Makedo down there. And there's only one man that can save this team. And yes, it is absolutely Feghorst. He's the only person that is capable of saving this uh, this match at the moment. Now, a draw wouldn't be the worst result in the world, but, you know, we should probably be winning this match. So that's where he comes in, since, you know, he's such a fucking god of football. And boom, there you go. He's literally, first touch, he took one touch, and he scored. Man's been on the pitch less than five fucking seconds, and he scored. As I said, he's a West Brom legend at this stage. You know, he's got that armband for, for obvious reasons. If you just don't rate Fed course, you just don't know football. Vega, put those... No! Oh, what a terrible shot. What is up with the shooting being disgustingly shit? Except for Fed course, you know, he... Cause He's got 100% shooting record for us. This match, anyway. Oh, excellent work, Ruiz. Alright, boom, there we go. Launched that out, and we should have won that. Which we do. Excellent, finally, got a press conference I can talk to. No more questions, thank you. And just like that, boys, press conference, I've finally done one. We badly needed it. Alan Corrin has actually been sold. Wow. This fucker is actually leaving us. You know, since I couldn't get loan offers for him, so I might as well fucking sell the bastard. Worst case scenario, I can always buy him back. I'm in the prime. I've got enough money. There we go. Alright, that absolutely crucial win has us 13th. We're five points above radigation at the moment. Which is absolutely grim. Uh, where are we? 19 points? Yeah, look. Positive goal difference is what I'm looking for. Or zero for the goal difference as well would also work. We're, um, we're borderline at the moment. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, lads. I'm struggling to see why Liverpool are doing so shit. I just looked at the team there. It's not actually that bad. I'm really confused as to why it's not going well. Alright. Kick out here. She's kicking stuff around my desk. So, yeah, that's great. Uh, we have Nottingham Forest coming up now. Um, a win would be nice. I think we're good enough to beat them. Uh, but then again, I was good enough to beat half the teams I've lost against this season. Here we go. The monster fed course is on his way. Make me proud. Oh my god, this man. I don't know what it is about, but he was also this good in fucking FIFA 23 as well. I had him, like, well, uh, United, John, where you had that loan. Yeah, I had him. Uh, Kika, can you stop rubbing your head off the mic? I, I done a career with, like, my player and all that, and had him playing alongside Fair Course, and oh my days, it was it was bad. For other teams, of course, you know, for, for United, it was pretty good. And for my player, it was also really good. It was, it was excellent. And because... Fagcourt's always retired so fucking early. You know, it meant that my player got to lead the line for pretty much the entire fucking career mode, essentially, by the first two seasons. Go on, 2-0. Oh, yes, mistake from the keeper. Kickat's causing absolute chaos on the desk right now. Do you want to move? Kickat. No, she doesn't. She's rubbing her ass off fucking everything. Except the mic at the moment. Although, I'm pretty sure she's going to think about it. Oh no, mistake. Okay, right, they scored, but they've given a penalty instead for handball, I think. Uh, it wasn't a handball, that was the mistake. It doesn't matter, we saved it. Oh my god, we've gotten away with one there. We have absolutely gotten away with one. Wait, no, they've not. You've not given a penalty for that. I'm sorry, what? Oh, we have not gotten away with it. It's just more bullshit. Right, let's just see how fast that comes in. 
Right, because it looks like it hits off his foot. His hand, oh, uh, yeah, okay, maybe maybe it is a pen, I guess. It's a little bit slightly fucking out. Fuck off. Yeah. Well, uh, they should have scored anyway. Um, it was, quite frankly, bullshit against the AI that gave them a penalty. So, I guess justice has been served for the AI, but of course, justice is rarely served for, for the player. You know, the consumer of this bullshit. Me. I would like someone to look for this ball. It wasn't Ali I was hoping would pick up the fucking pass there. Ah, fuck it, Romo. Give that a smack. Right, half time. It's 2 1. We're kind of holding on a little bit. Uh, Nottingham seems to be good at uh, counter attacking right now, which is scary. How's the stamina doing for everyone? Yeah, it's fine for pretty much everyone. Heart to bore is probably the lowest, but it's not by much, so you should be fine. It's not a fucking fell. Wait, why is he getting booked for? What did he get booked? Why is it a free kick for them? Why is it always Ruiz that they give fells against? What is this? What what happened there? What was the fell and why did their player get booked? Oh, what a tackle from Rugani. Oh my days, that was gorgeous. You'll love to see it. Oh, that's a great ball from Faircourse to Fega. Oh my god, why did I chip it? Why did I chip it? Oh, Jesus. Right, we'll put on Gomez. Oh, that was absolute shittery for myself. I have fucked myself there. Hard Wars coming off for Skov. Uh, what's that? Three subs I've used. Um, Kanezovic can come on for Romo, I guess. Arthur would be probably the next reasonable one, but we're taking Alvaro off instead because he's done absolutely nothing in this match. Oh, what a dumb decision. Should have just fucking smacked it rather than trying to play smart. Oh, we have an open chance here. I just need someone to run through that middle. I don't know who it is. Fega? Okay, yeah, of course not. See, this is what I mean. They never fucking follow up. They never follow up through the middle when you're attacking like that. If you come in from the wings, you're not getting any support. It's really fucking annoying. They always hang back. I'm like, why are you hanging back for? Get fucking forward. It's so dumb. EA, please, in your next fucking patch, can you, you know, patch that? And then you can look at patching all the fucking bullshit that you have against us. Oh, that's a red card. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Not good. Not good, boys. You've lost Vega. Oh, god damn it. Right, we should win this game. It's just the next game I'm starting to worry a little bit. What fucking pass was that? I was supposed to switch the play there and he just scoops it straight in front of him. I don't get the, the, the over-the-top passes anymore. They're, they're ruined. EA have ruined them. Well, it doesn't matter. We got a win. Barely, at times. Right, that win puts us 12th in the league. We're a liver shit. There are two points above relegation. You'll love to see it. Uh, hopefully they'll be in the relegation zone soon. You know, Bournemouth can overtake them. So can Sheffield and Fulham. I'll let, I'll let anyone overtake them. They can, they can finish bottom of the league. Yeah, as for now... What's our goal difference? Just... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so what's this? Is this the halfway point? No, 19 games is the halfway point. Oh, boy. Well, we should be safe from relegation, I think. I think we should be fine. Especially since we've got Sheffield and Liverpool coming up, which we should be grand for. So we'll have Fager back for Liverpool. All 
All right, you can see the team not going here. Fegor starts uh, against Sheffield. Now, bear in mind that we have two days in between this Sheffield game and Liverpool. So I'm going to put my eggs into trying to win this match here because, um, you know, it's the easier match to win. Remember last time you played Liverpool, it was 4-1 loss. And they were fucking in the relegation zone when they done that. At one stage, the only points they had were the ones that they got off us, which is embarrassing. Right, Dubois. Finish that. Oh, that was terrible. And I have to say, Fekors, you know, the striker, the attacker for my team there, also ran with the player that was running in from the wing. He only cut back at the last second because, you know, you, I think he's going into an offside position, if I'm correct. See, Fekors just knows how to, how, how to, how to be good. Uh, anyone else that I play up there is typically woeful. Uh, uh, following runs. They're usually back in my own fucking box defending from our attack, which is annoying. Right, there we go. Fekhorst. I don't think he's going to do much from this position here. Yeah, no, we got a corner. I have a feeling we it's whoever scores first wins this game, I think. It's, uh, it's not as clear-cut as it looks at the moment. Oh my god, what a save. I thought that actually went in. I thought the keeper slapped it into his own net. He's done it again. Oh, side netting. Oh. We might be onto something with that. Right, fair course. You just stand there and look pretty. Oh, just over his fucking head. Why is there a foul? What? Why is there a foul against me? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I'm really confused. What happened there? What was the foul? Right. Look at Fake Horse running in. Now. Oh, yes. There we go. I was going to say, you know, he, he started cutting back, but he started cutting back behind people. But it doesn't matter. Because the fucking centre-backs followed him for some dumb reason. you love to see it. Oh, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. The ball puts us 1-0 up. On the stroke of half time as well. We badly needed that. So Fekhorst made a brilliant challenge there. And Sarkeesian decides to run backwards rather than fucking run onto the ball. Could have put, put us 2-0 up. But no, terrible AI. Right there. No, it's not even terrible. It's fucking retarded AI. Sarkeesian is getting passed through very fucking easily right now. I don't like it. Alright, this is the rotated side heavily. Um, well, it's not really rotation, it's just subs. My eyes are fucking worn. I think my hay fever might be starting, I can't tell. Right, Ronaldo. This is it. This is it, Ronaldo. He's so shit. I'm hoping Messi's regen will be better. And what is it? February 1st I have, if I want to sign him. Which I'm not going to, by the way. I'm just, just saying that's what I said at the start of the season. Don't! Oh, they nearly scored. Jesus Christ. We need a fucking goal up top. I need a sweaty, sweaty goal. We need a second. And the sooner we get it, the better. No, Ruiz, no! Why'd you have to give the ball away, man? Artur, I'm begging you, Ruiz has not got the pace to get there, and well, nor do you, to be quite honest with you, but it's fine, it worked out in my favour, just just get to someone that can run. Oh, Trezor, what are you doing? Not only can you run, but you can fucking dribble as well, and you do that shit. Oh, right, just get rid of it, lads. Oh, why he's past the back? Guys, please. Guys. No. Oh, and now with a great save. Right, fucking send that into next year. Jesus Christ, the end of that match was terrifying. Fucking hell. Right, press conference done. We're still 12th. We're slowly getting better with our goal difference. Uh, what did I think? What, what is it? Around 34 points that keeps you safe? Yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can get something similar to that. At the moment. Maguire's gone down. No! Right, we'll, get, we'll start training on something because he's still a decent player to have. 
Uh, Conlon looks pretty fucking good as well. Yeah, we'll have you on this attacking wide back. Why not? Alright, Murphy can go. Yeah, you're you're being trained. Connolly will train you as well. You look decent. You can be a target player. Why not? Uh, Maguire as well. He'd be an inverted winger. McDerma, Jesus, he's he can play fucking everywhere. You can be a support winger. And I think we're happy with to leave the rest as they are. Right, monthly report. Let's see. You look fucking tasty, Cronin. That's class. It sounds like one of the cats is acting the bollocks. Well, I can't see any. So, Curran's gone, Trezor's gone, Gomez is on loan, Sweeney's gone. Yeah, we've lost quite a few players. And if you look at our team here, I don't think we have a lot of rotation available. So, we're just going to check to see who else is on loan that we might need to recall back if we want. So, we have Gomez, who's literally just gone out, so he's staying out on loan for the rest of the season. Brennan, who's... Yeah, he's not too bad. You know, for his rating, he's decent. Uh, but he's probably going to be going out on loan uh, next season as well. Or the season after. Hernandez. Yeah, I don't think he's going to reach his potential. And Boyd, he could be something else. I would like to get him in the team, but I want him to be a bit higher rated before I do. He might be Romo's replacement, actually, in that midfield. Right, I've got loads of players that I have on... You know, start being scouted or on the, the transfer list that I'm looking to, to have a go at. So, just keep that in mind, everyone. I will be looking to buy players as well at some point. Uh, I'm just going to wait for maybe an offer to come in. Or right, definitely the scout reports first, and then afterwards it might be the, you know, the some offers for people. All right, last time I played Liverpool, it was an absolute destruction. So, this time, you know, I'm hoping it'll be a little bit better. And unfortunately, we're going to have to put Fafana up top. I really don't want him to play. But, I, again, you know, based on how this team... Or, not, sorry, not this team. Sorry, I'm not being fair to the team. Oh, shit, it's Lulu. Hold on. I'm going to have to pause the fucking match. Shit. Lulu's trying to cl climb in the window. Go to the door. All right. Apologies about that, gamers. All right, let's uh, get into this. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I have to keep a smaller squad because people just get so fucking unhappy so quickly in this uh, in this FIFA, unfortunately. It's kind of difficult to have a bigger sized squad. Like, it did happen in FIFA 23 where players would just, like, you know, want to leave. But not as much as this. Like, it's pretty much every season I have, like, five or ten players that want to fucking leave constantly. Um, which is outrageous compared to all the other FIFAs. You might get maybe one a season in FIFA 23 if you're very bad at man management, which, you know, one a season, I was like, yeah, I can deal with that. This this FIFA, it's like four or five players constantly looking to leave. It's it's bad. It's real bad. They need to patch it. They need to just reduce it down by about 20%. Two, three players wanting to leave a season. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but it's far more manageable than than what it is at the moment. Fana, go on. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. I mean, he struggles to fucking walk with the ball. But he hit the crossbar. We could probably do it a... Uh, probably do it a gold soon, boys. I did not mean for Liverpool. I did not mean a goal for Liverpool. And also, are now... What the fuck was that? This team is 16th in the fucking league. Why do they always have the upper hand on me? I don't get it. I really, I, I don't get it. They literally the only games they fucking won this season have been against me, assuming that they're gonna win this match as well. Oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me? What is it about this fucking shit West Brom team that they can just beat easily? I'm literally the only fucking wins that they have. Like what is this bullshit? Fucking hell, you know, at least against the other bigger teams, you know, I put up a fight for at least 40 minutes. Against Liverpool, I collapse every fucking time. Don't. 
Oh my god, this is bullshit. It's 3 now already. I give up. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't, I don't get what it is about Liverpool. I don't fucking get it. I hate Liverpool. I really fucking hate them. I don't understand what the fucking thing is. You know, against other big teams, I last, like, I don't really last a full half, but, you know, it, it gets out of hand. It gets out of my control, you know, around the 40th minute. Regardless of whether it's two or three down at that point. Against Liverpool, it's literally pretty much straight away. It's a game over. They have one attack and I concede. Two goalkeeping mistakes. Two. And then we have a transfer offer for fucking Vega. My best fucking player. And because we're in the transfer window, I have to do the fucking wheel spin. Alright, let's see. What are we doing? I got no for players that I didn't want to go. And I guarantee we're going to have to sell Vega. Stay on no. Stay on no. Stay on no. Oh, thank fuck. Thank fuck. I need him until the rest of the season. If he wants to leave at the start of season four, you can. I don't want you to go. I really don't want you to go. But, you know, it'll be less it'll be less sore if you go. Yeah, I know. I'm well aware. I don't care if what's his face goes. I'm trying to get 14 for Sarkeesian. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that or not. I just don't want to sell to people in the, the Premier League. And because he's under the age of 22, I'm able to, you know, to decide what I do with the, the offers. Brighton have, I read, 14 and a half. See, I don't want him to go now. Because I don't have really, I don't really have the players to, I don't really have the players to, uh, to keep it going. 3.8 mil, that's going to be pointless for me. 10 mil might be decent. I'm looking... I might get uh, Montanu in for this season. And then sell him next season as backup. Messi's still a free agent. That's embarrassing. Could get Fan de Beek on a free as well. Alright, we're going to accept that Brighton offer. We've got a plan. Vegor says uh, reduced him to 73. Unfortunately, we are going to have him on the bench for this match. We're going to try do a little bit of rotation. Right, that's the team we're going to go with. It is FA Cup. We are going to sim a little bit of it. Uh, I need to take a break for a bit of fucking air. My hay fever, I think, might be really fucking over. Right, half time 1 1. I will hop in at some point in the second half. Right, I don't see any need to uh, jump in because, you know, we're winning. And plus, it's always nice to have a match that's fucking simmed. You know, it's a bit of, bit of breathing space, especially when I have a fucking growing headache. My hay fever starting, and you never know, I might have fucking COVID. It's in the house. So that's always gonna be fun. Don't concede. Oh, thank fuck. I was gonna cry. All right, we win. Okay, I need to find out what the actual goal is in uh, in the FA Cup. Right, what is the objectives here? How far do I have to go? Reached around a 16. Okay, I don't know what stage I'm at. Right, Sarkeesian has been sold. You see that, boys? Right, we're going in for another player. I think we've sold another player. No, oh, no, it's just Sarkeesian coming through. Okay, that was a bit delayed. Regani saying that the situation at the club is not good. I, I don't really know why he's having a hissy fit over. I think we're doing pretty well. Offer for Regani. Now, I am looking at a centre-back, so this would suit me to sell right now. Now, last time we got a no. I, don't be a... Fucking no again. Oh. Regani's just not leaving, is he? He's just not leaving. 
one of the players that I don't actually mind getting fucking rid of, and we just keep non-stop. We have an offer for Martial here. They've accepted 18 million for Martial. Oh, lads. Oh, lads. We have a chance to, to sign Martial here. A player that I've been after for quite a while now. Transfer for Ali. It's a swap deal. I'm not going to accept it. Because, you know, I don't really need a fullback right now. If I do, it would have been a left back and a younger one at that. Alright, this is the team that we're going to go with. Against Norwich. We should be beating Norwich. This should put us around the 30-point mark. Everything's going well. We'll find out. Oh my god, he got a red card. He got a red card. Jesus Christ. I didn't think it was a red. That's not even a red card. I wouldn't even call that a yellow. Well, I'll take it. Vega, own goal. Okay, we got lucky. It's been very scrappy. Uh, obviously, Norwich don't really have anything going forward. They don't even have a midfield. It's just a defense has been making it difficult for us. And of course, it's Norwich player that scores an own goal. Right, but half time, one nil, barely. Uh, we don't really have a choice but to take it. Finish that, 2-0. Yeah, lucky rebound, but we'll take it. I need to make this game a little bit more, uh, less, less terrifying. All right, loads of subs on there now. We should be fine for the rest of this game. Oh, go on, Romo, finish that. Oh, yes, fine, my tree goal rule actually works it positive for once. Oh, yes, you'd love to see it. You absolutely love to see that. Arsenal are now interested in Vega. That's fan fucking fantastic. Alright. Are we selling Vega? No, we're not. Okay, thank Christ. Give me till. Give me till. You know, give, me, give me him for the rest of the season, I'll take. My head's starting to go. Right, we've got Oxford in the FA Cup. We should be winning this, regardless of what team I put out. And I've also put in an offer for a fuck ton of players. Hopefully we'll be able to get them all before the, uh, the window closes. If we can't, then I've had an absolute nightmare. Because we literally have no other players that we can use here. But yeah, this game should be a wipe. Alright, we're trashing these bastards as we should. You'd love to see it. So Martial just doesn't want to arrive at all, which is really annoying. I offered 15 mil, or 3 mil more for this Castro fella, and they seem to want to negotiate with me, which is really fucking annoying. I don't know why they, they couldn't have just asked for another 3 mil. Van de Beek, yeah, we'll get him in. Uh, it is pre-contract agreement, but I think with the way this game is so busted at the moment, he's just going to show up in my squad. Uh, so that's pre-contract agreement for Van de Beek. So that's excellent. Uh, Popov, I'm also going to try to get him. It's 900k extra than what I wanted. Uh, but look, we'll, we'll fucking try. There's still a couple other players that I'm waiting to hear from uh, to buy. Well... We'll see what happens. Fana offer on loan. I was hoping to sell the bastard, but you know what? If he wants to go out on loan, he can go out on loan. Timber offer. That's nine extra million more than I wanted to, but again, sure. We'll we'll see what we can get for him. What what's what's the best deals we can get here? And these will probably all have to be sold at the start of next season anyway. But you know, we'll we'll see what happens. Offer for Hartabor. Now he is 32. I don't mind losing him. But I am going to need to get someone else in. Or at least play some midfielders at fullback for a while. I decide. Okay. That's going to be an interesting one. I don't mind losing him. I don't mind losing Hartabor. I'll probably try to get 11 mil for him. Because he is 32 now. He is getting on a bit. He's only going to go lower in value. 
Uh, we have Pedersen here for 12 mil. Again, an extra 2 mil more than what I wanted. Uh, I, I think we can we can give him a bit more. I don't want to give him more money. Right, we've just signed Xavi Castro from PSV. You'd love to see it. And we're also going to sign Popov from Luton Town, who are in the championship. I think we can probably put Anguillo out at fullback, so I think we should be fine now for for defenders. Right, for fan looks like he's going out on loan. Again, I wanted to sell him, but a loan deal is whatever. He'll just come back higher rated so I can get more money for him. It really is one of those scenarios where I don't really care. And Pedersen and Timber could be coming in here. Oh, my God. Right, Pedersen. Yeah, well, obviously going to get him in. He's a decent player. He will have to go out alone at some point, but for now, you should do. Right, and we're signing Quinton Timber from Sheffield United. Sheffield United are bottom of the Premier League. So it weakens a, a team that's in the same division. And it makes me stronger. So it keeps one uh, relegation slot uh, occupied. It makes me look better. So you'd love to see it. And we spent nearly 100 mil, I think. Uh, off the top of my head, from what I can see, we spent quite a bit of money. Well, maybe not. Maybe close to 70 mil. But you'd love to see it, boys. You'd love to see it. I think that's my spending done now for a while. I don't doubt that most of these players are going to get unhappy and want to leave. But for now, it's it's whatever. It's just to do it for this season so I can, you know, try to reach some of my better goals. I'm going to try to push the FA Cup now uh, since I have the money to spend, so I might as well. So you check the finances. I still have 80 million uh, for my budget. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. All right, and Chelsea have agreed to buy Hertebor, so that's fine. You can have him. I don't really care. He's, he's, he's not really much to me. And Chelsea did not get Hertha Bor over the line. That's fucking frustrating. Means I have too many defenders now. God fucking damn it. Chelsea, you had one fucking job. Right, well, Organi's happy, which you fucking should be. You shouldn't be complaining and saying that I'm not even fucking trying. After that, I spent nearly 70 mil on players. We're 11 with minus 7 goal difference. You have Spurs coming up next. And you're going to see the absolute state of this team now. Okay, thank fuck. Okay, Van de Beek has not joined us. Thank Christ he didn't join. I was praying that he wouldn't join because otherwise we would have been in a seriously bad spot in terms of the amount of players that we have. Okay, this is good. Alright, so this is what we have now. So our backup striker is going to be Makedo. We'll probably keep... Uh, maybe... I was going to say we could probably have Dubois as a striker, but we'll keep Makedo as a striker for backup options. Alvarado is that winger. Uh, we have quite a few midfield options. Uh, we have a lot of defensive options now. It's going to be kind of difficult to rotate all of these people. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So in the next part, we're going to be... This is a really long... This is nearly two hours long, by the way, I've been recording. So this is going to be a very long video. We're going to be going up against Spurs. In fact, all of February we'll be doing. So after Spurs, it's very manageable to get at least 12 points. Um... Um, you might do. We might even get March done because that'll be what six games then. That should be about an hour, an hour and fifteen maybe. So that should be fine. So part five, I think it is for the next part. Yeah, so we should get March done, and then the rest of it maybe part six would be April, and part seven would be the end of the season. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. Adios, gamers.